Welcome back ladies and gents to another video. Today we're going to look at artillery, an important asset available to you in Hell Let Loose and if used correctly can be an absolute game changer as evidenced in this video. We will look at the history behind the two weapon systems available to you, their performance in theatre and also in gameplay. We will also cover how to best handle these weapons, how to identify enemy positions and targets, move the weapon system, load it and fire. Also give some basic tactics and top tips on how you can level up your artillery game quickly to become an integral part of a winning team. As ever, if you like what you see, please feel free to give this video a like, leave a comment and subscribe and also consider sharing as we've all seen new players jumping on batteries to try and stack up kills. Not knowing what they're doing, they're effectively reducing our resources and leading to multiple team kills. So let's get the message out there and upskill them so that we can all enjoy our game. So without further ado, sit back, relax and enjoy. Let's have a look at the two main weapon systems available to you within the artillery arsenal. On the German side, the Schwerfeldhaubitzer 36. It fired a 149mm by 260 HE or smoke round, capable of firing all the way up to 12.3 kilometers, and had a rate of fire of 4 rounds per minute. And on the American side, the M114 155mm howitzer. Still in service today in some countries, this weapon system has an effective range up to 14.6 kilometers and an effective rate of fire of four rounds per minute. To balance gameplay, both weapon systems only have a maximum range of 1,600 meters. They both fire HE and smoke, HE requiring three munitions and smoke, five munitions. Okay, let's talk tactics. The artillery options available to you in Hell Let Loose allow for each team to have three gun battery placed in the center HQ spawn. These can be manned by anyone. However, it is strongly advised that when you're using the artillery, you set up as a close squad and mark your squad as artillery using the on-screen icon. By doing so, you'll be able to see all the team's active markers on the map and can also communicate and coordinate your shells. Whoever shot that last artillery, great hit. In game, you can expect an effective kill radius of about 10 meters, damaging infantry up to 20 meters away. When hitting armor, you will need to land your shots within 5 meters to do critical damage, and the same goes for OPs and garrisons. You'll know when you've scored a hit, as you'll hear the following sounds. Remember, artillery shells are indiscriminate and will kill anyone within the blast radius. You should therefore seek precision when firing. Use an artillery calculator to send accurate shells quickly and effectively to reduce friendly fire and destroy or pin the enemy. I will add a link below in the description. So how do you know where to shoot? First thing you can do is ask. Can we get artillery shells on Jake and infantry marker please? On what sorry? Juliet infantry Jake marker. Jake infantry marker. Yeah Roger. Two rounds going out in short order. Friendly squads or commanders can pin enemies or set markers for you to fire shells upon. Another thing you can do is study the map. Let's break this down using a scenario from a recent game. Okay, so let's look at the point we wish to defend. If the name doesn't give it away, West Bend is situated to the west of the map. A metal road runs from the south up to the north. And there is some buildings in the center and southeast. The position is to the north of some of the woodland which stretches up to the east and there are several trenches to the south which could offer the enemy team cover from view and fire as they push up from the south. In addition to this there are some houses about 300 meters further south which offers cover from fire and view, ideal for placing garrisons behind. Another key feature to note is from the northeast to southeast, there is mostly open fields, which could make ideal kill zones due to little cover. So, knowing this, 
we can safely assume that the enemy forces are going to mostly mount their attack from the south using man-made and natural cover such as the woodblock to mask their point of entry onto West Bend. Our forces have already captured the point and are setting up defences to the southwest and southeast. So we've assessed the situation, we've reviewed the geography and we know where each team's forces are. What we now need to do is draw a limit of exploitation whereby our forces will not cross. This is to prevent any blue on blue and maintain good defensive discipline. You can't do this in game, but you can communicate verbally to other teams on the command net. You shouldn't be looking to fire close to these lines or you run the risk of calling in shells onto friendly positions. But if the position is being overrun, you may need to amend these lines to prevent an enemy advance. Finally, we now need to look for likely enemy staging areas. This is where they are going to be putting down OPs or garrisons as a launch pad to spring their assault. In addition, look for any likely routes of entry, such as trenches or tree lines. Once you've identified these positions, mark them down on the map, zero the guns in and send it. Once you have a marker, look at the distance to the target and type that into the calculator. This will then give you the required elevation using the W or S key to adjust the elevation. Ensure the target reticle is directly pointed to the center of the marker. You can do this by pressing the A or D keys. You will need to load the gun. Press F2 to switch to the loader position and select the type of shell you wish to load by using the keys one or two. Once selected, hold R. Following the loading screen, you will switch back to the firing position by pressing F1. Once the gun is zeroed and loaded, fire for effect. Round sent. Communication is key in this role, so make sure you have a microphone. Acknowledge requests for Artie and mark on the map where you plan to send the next shells. Let your team know when you have fired and warn friendlies if they are moving towards your kill zones. Requesting uh, artillery strike on Jake artillery request, please. On what? Say again. Negative. Jake infantry request, too close. Please. Friendly infantry too close. I can push further. I can do this. Yes, go for it. Push it. By communicating effectively, you will learn where to fire your shells and support your team. It will also reduce team kills. A tip for commanders. Try to only use one artillery at a time. This avoids rapid depletion of your resources and maximises the amount of men left to push points. The same goes for men on the ground. Reload time is quick. Therefore, you don't need a loader. Slick drills of swapping between rolls enables you to reload and look for where you will place the next shot on the map. Pro tip, following deployment, pivot each artillery gun to face one of the three points within range. This means you can jump between guns quickly and easily as you have already semi-zeroed in the positions. Rate of fire. Now this depends on the situation and also the amount of munitions available. Take stock of the amount of munitions generated per minute and factor that into your consumption. If you fire too often, you will deplete the amount of munitions available, which could otherwise have been used by the commander to call in other assets. As a general rule of thumb, do not fire more than one round every 10 to 15 seconds, and certainly don't fire more than two rounds at the same point at any given time. Adjust the elevation slightly each time for maximum effect. Firing smoke, it is advised to increase your rate of fire and send shells along the axis of advance just in front of the enemy positions. This will enable you to maximize cover from view. If you follow these principles, you will help drive your team to victory and get some more kills along the way. Be warned, however, successful artillery annoys enemy commanders and he will send recon or infantry squads to silence you. Good. This alleviates pressure on the rest of your team so just be ready for them and send them on their way.
That concludes this video on artillery. I hope you found this informative and useful. Please feel free to like, comment and subscribe for more Hell Let Loose content. Thanks for all the support. I'll see you in the next one.